Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome or welcome back to our channel. Before I get into anything, yes, I did. I painted my nails. They're cool, they're flames, yes. So if you're here, that probably means that you are one of two things. Either a student that is going through a really, really, really rough patch right now, or you're like a teacher, parent, adult figure, just wondering why you're seeing a video with such a whiny title. Pop up in your subscription or recommended page. And to both of those groups, hello, my name is Rumi, I'm a junior in college, and I hate it here. I feel like now more than ever, with school being completely online, school has never felt more optional. And like more like, do I really need to be here? Do I need to be doing this right now? Like really? You see the catch is, at the same time, school has never been more difficult. And I just don't know where that correlation sort of came from or why that's happening. But like it is. Like I know it's not just me that's noticed that school is harder online, objectively, than it was in person. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of you are gonna be like, but Rumi, you can cheat. Like online school, there's no professors. They can't check you, you can cheat all you want. And to that, I have a single rebuttal. Respond this lockdown browser. Like it's actually satanic. But yeah, I've been struggling, you've been struggling. It's been a tough semester, quarter, marking period, whatever you're on. I just know, everyone's really going through it right now. And I feel like there isn't really a good place to like converse and really talk out and express our issues as students with the current system of education. Um, that we're all going through. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit, like what the situation is right now versus how it was before, and even, even maybe, at the end of the video giving you a little advice for how to really thrive. Or no, it's not the right word. At least like try to pretend like you're actually thriving in online classes. That also might sort of be hypocritical because I don't know how to do that yet, but we're gonna see, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. But before we get anywhere, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok here at Emergency. Let's get into it. So first and foremost, I sort of feel like school overall um, has just been like tough. But let me sit back and reflect on what this semester has brought already. Damn, and it's not even halfway through yet. But yeah, there's just like a lot going on in the world right now and a lot of people's lives right now because let me let you in in a little secret right now. The world is not okay. Like I'm sure in midst of everything that's going on right now, school is the last thing that people are thinking about. But instead of like recognizing that, they just said, oh, you know what? You know what the kids need? What? You know, I think their willingness to live has actually been a little bit too high recently. Way too high. Um, so let's put them back in school and like double the course load. Amazing with idea. less deadlines and support. And you know what? To top it off, let's have them teach themselves. I've never heard a better idea in my life. That's the key point. Let's have them teach themselves. Yes. We spent all this time and money. Way too much money. Hiring teachers and professors. Fire no. them all. Make them teach no. themselves. We're going to give these kids a textbook. Uh-huh a topic, yep. and the internet. Perfect. And the rest is on them. <laughs> Don't forget them $100 access cards. Like, like literally it makes zero sense. Like I feel like specifically for like college kids, I don't know about high school, let me know down in the comments below like what the whole high school scene is like. But like if you thought college was a scam before, just wait until you see this edition. Like the way we're just expected to teach ourselves a semester's worth of material. I and mean, it's a pandemic and everything else going on in the world is just like astounding. Like literally for one of my classes, the way like the whole like curriculum, like course curriculum is set up, we read, take a quiz on that reading. And then the next day get taught on that reading that we just took a quiz on. Like what's the point? Like I, what, 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 what's the point in that? Like at that point, I don't care. Like I already failed the quiz. Why am I gonna listen to you now? Like it's just so stressful for no reason. And I feel like I wanna try I want to give it my all. I'm gonna be like, yes, I'm gonna take this online semester and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that 4.0. But then that leads to like my second point. I feel like motivation, at least for me, motivation to actually achieve in school right now is at an all time low. Never been lower. Like never been lowered. Like the bar is through the floor. Like scraping, scraping the crumbs off of the floor at this point. Like I hear from my friends and like people on Twitter that this is like a common thing. Like I feel like no one's like really invested in this and no one really like actually cares. Because like I said before, like school feels optional right now. Like I don't think anyone's like genuinely like waking up every day is like, okay, ready to get that 4.0. I'm super excited for school. Like no one cares. Like no one cares. Like it seriously shouldn't be that hard to actually like bring myself to study. Like even saying the word study out loud just doesn't sit right with me. Like that doesn't even sound like it's part of my repertoire. Like that doesn't sound like something I would say 
in a sentence. Like the crazy part about it is like professors are still on X Games mode. Like they really are just like acting like nothing's going on. Or they wanna pretend like nothing's going on. Cause like the way that they're just assigning all of this work. I'll say good for them, good for them. Like good for you for like being able to do your job well like amidst all this craziness and like do what you do. But at the same time, doing what you do doesn't necessarily mean like drowning all of your students in work, you know? Like it's okay to like not have something to do a day. I can promise you, I'd rather just be sitting at home doing nothing in quarantine than doing a problem set or a journal response or a group project. Like I know we were all completing back in April, May, June, but that still sounds better than the work that they're assigning for us right now. I'm just saying, from in my opinion, in my opinion. And like, I know there are some kids that are like super into school, like good for them, good for them. Like not to say that I'm not academic and you're not academic and like we, we don't care. Well, we don't. Like, like we care, just not to the extent that they care. You know, like something isn't adding up, you know? You get me? You know what I mean? Also, answer me honestly on this one. This is a genuine question. When's the last time you went to class with your camera on? Oh, oh, you have an answer for that one? Okay, all right. When's the last time you went into class with your audio on? Hmm. Hmm, like that's okay. I don't I don't do it either. But like in case before this point you're like, that's not me. I'm not like that. Like I'm 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 smart. I'm about my school. Like, shut up. Humble yourself. You know you're not feeling this. You know it. But like despite all of this, like school is still important and still matters a whole bunch. Like we still need to learn to get careers and to get jobs and be like super successful in our workplace. So there is still that as like motivation to like not completely stop caring about school. But like, I know that this video is like coming across like really negative and like not necessarily what you like wanna hear and like wanna see. I guess like the main point of this video is to like let you know, especially if you are struggling this semester, that you are not alone. And like, I can promise you that there are many, many people feeling a very similar way to how you are right now. Like even if not, you at least have me. Cause like, I'm tired of this semester too. And, like look on the bright side. It's going to be a great story to tell in like 30 years. Given that there is still like, you know. Oh, and I was supposed to give you some advice. I forgot about that. Um, let's see. What have I been doing to really stay on track this semester? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool. I've been spending a lot of time sniffing candles to really reawaken my senses and bring me back to the real world after dissociating for so long. So I just take a candle like this. Um, shout out to my friend Drew who gave this to me. But just take a candle like this and just... Ah, yes. I feel like a human again. Then, um, going on strolls, taking little walks outside, mask on, um, just to like, you know, see the environment and remind yourself that your world isn't confined between four walls and that there actually is civilization out there. You may not like what you actually see when you get out there, but I can't really control that. And then I guess like finally, like one thing that's like not super duper important. It's not really something that I've like really done a whole bunch, but I hear it helps some people, like a really niche group of people. But like actually like doing your assignments on time and like making like a planner um, to like sort of like delineate like simple tasks. Like I've never really heard of that before, but like I hear from like some people that like that's a really good idea. Um, and it's been helping them. I just personally don't associate with that community. So I don't really know. But yeah, you can try that if you want. But like other than that, smelling the candles and going on walks. <laughs> You'll pretty much be set after that. But yeah, I feel like that's a really great way to um, center yourself and really prioritize what's important um, during the school year. So I hope you can try out some of those things and I hope that this conversation was helpful for you and knowing that you are not alone. We are all struggling through this together. But we'll make it out. Well, yeah, we will. We'll make it out. If you're new and want to see more of my content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like and comment down below what your experience has been so far. I can't imagine them being too glowing, but if they are, let me know. Once again, don't forget to follow me on my social medias here at Emergency. And I'll have to catch you later at another video because I actually have to start getting to work and start studying. Help me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've been Emergency and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.